Before we get started, this video is sponsored by Unity. The new tech stream just came out, Unity 2022, and it's full of some great things. And I want to share with you the things that I think will impact your workflow the most, including the two things that are already making a really big difference for me, saving me a bunch of time and money. Before I get to my list though, if there's something in 2022 that you're really excited about or already using, or maybe have a question about, drop a comment down below. I'm sure I'm gonna miss a lot of things and I'm kind of curious to see what everybody else is using and that's really how I learn and figure out what everybody's wanting to know more about and what they're using already, what's really exciting. It's kind of where I get a lot of these great ideas. Also, please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe and share. It makes a big difference and I really do appreciate it. And I also read through all of those comments and try to reply to as many of them as possible. The theme of this release is productivity and performance. And while the performance part is awesome, the productivity part will blow you away. The first one is an upgrade to a feature that a lot of people don't even know exists. If you hit Control K, you'll pop up this search window. This has been available since Unity 2021, but in 2022, they've added some new features to make this powerful advanced search a whole lot easier to use. There's now a visual search builder that you can access by hitting the little puzzle and then selecting the types of things that you want to search for. The filter here allows you to search for just about anything and query any way that you want. I can go search for an aspect of my characters that I have in my Battler game, for example, see their life and their description and their name, and then go add in some more columns by right-clicking, choosing Add Column, finding the component and the subcomponent that I want, and then go expose the attack damage. This is a great way for me to be able to find important data in my projects without having to build custom editors for everything. These things are just scriptable objects, but it works with every other type of object in your game. And if you upgrade to 2022, you'll also be able to use the coolest part, which is if you right click, you can go to column format, choose the experimental serialized property, and then suddenly have a batch editor for all of your data. So this is amazing. It's gonna save me a ton of time. I don't need to make custom editors for things. Now I can just have a list view that allows me to save off these different views by hitting the save button and choosing save per project. We'll call this battler aspects. Now I've got an awesome view where I can go in and edit and modify things, go back to this and just change stuff with, again, how, without having to make a custom editor. There's a bit more to this visual search editor though in the entire search engine. In fact, there's an entire document with all the crazy features that it supports. You can find anything that you want, like the largest assets, the biggest files in there, the thing that's most referenced, files that aren't referenced at all. You can write queries almost like you would write a link query. I'll link the documentation, but you can see here that you can write in just about any type of query that you want to find the data that you need, and then again, even make it editable. How awesome is that? Now, if you've got some other interesting use cases for this search engine, please let me know. Drop a comment down below. I found out about this and how powerful it was from my buddy Yorai, and asking people and learning from other people is the best way to find out new stuff. So if there's something cool in here that I didn't cover yet that we're all missing out on, please let me and everyone else know. I really do appreciate it, and, and it helps a lot. So thanks in advance. Now, if you don't need to find things in your project, maybe it's small or you're just super organized, I'm sure you need to hit the play button. And that's one thing that has gotten a lot faster in the latest version of Unity. Starting and stopping your project is now quite a bit faster, up to 60% faster in a lot of cases, as is importing assets. I found that the new parallel asset import and the new asset import pipeline in general is quite a bit faster. So if you've got a large project and you wanna pull it in, pull it into 2022 and see what kind of a difference you can notice. In my experience, it's been relatively large. One of the features I've been waiting for in this release is actually a package that's shipping alongside the Unity build, and that's the Splines package. If you've never used Splines before, get ready to be amazed because this is gonna make it extremely easy and simple to just pull into your project completely for free. You won't need an asset pack or anything complicated. You just pull down the Splines package, add in a new spline component or a spline container, and then that will allow you to edit the spline in spline edit mode. The scene view now has a spline edit mode that'll allow you to select a spline, go find the different points of the spline that you want to modify, and move them around. You can modify the curve any way you like, and then use it in your own code by using the 
evaluate position method. There's also an evaluate method on the spline, but if you're using this spline container, make sure that you reference it as a spline container and then just use the evaluate position. If you need more details about the tangent and other stuff, you can use the spline container dot spline dot evaluate and get some more stuff out of that. But I found that the evaluate position pretty much handles what I need to get a character running around and walking on the spline. Now, if you're into UI development, the new UI toolkit is getting a ton of attention in this release. It's got 77 notes just in the initial alpha, and there's quite a bit more, I think, coming throughout the 2022 release cycle. So if you've been looking at UI toolkit and wondering, should I think about upgrading? Should I look into this deeper? Now I would say is the time to actually do that evaluation. Check it out, see if you're ready to switch over to UI toolkit yet, or if it's ready for maybe your next project. But Unity 2022 is where I expect to see most people starting to make that transition. The next thing that caught my eye is technically for artists, but really useful for me, and that's material variants. Material variants will allow you to set up a material and then just like prefab variants, have some variants on it. If you wanna change the emission texture of one version of a thing, you don't have to copy everything. If you wanna just change some value on a slider or the tint of a material, you don't have to copy that entire material. Now the benefit here is that you can just update that one base material swap out the texture on it or whatever needs to change whenever that gets updated and have all of your variants keep their data. It's just like prefab variants, but for materials. And I don't know why we didn't have this before. It's pretty awesome. Now we're going to talk about the weird thing that I'm most excited for, the one that's actually going to save me money and that I've started using already. And that's the package manager updates. First though, let's talk about the quality of life improvement in here. You can now select multiple packages so I can grab any set of packages and then just batch download them. It'll download them all in parallel and get them all for you around the same time. It's really cool and amazing if you've got a lot of packages to download and import. I found that this also works for updating, but not for importing. You still have to do your imports one at a time, but that makes sense because you get the little pop-up and you need to select the right things. There's one other awesome thing in this new package manager though, that is gonna save me and probably a lot of other people a lot of money. And that's the ability to now move your location for your packages. That downloaded package location that was always in your users folder under that asset store 5.x folder can now be moved to wherever you want. I've moved mine onto a Synology NAS. So now all of my asset packs are on that storage tucked away where I can get to them when I need them, but not wasting space on my development systems SSD or my laptop's hard drive. I no longer need to worry about upgrading and replacing those things because I got some new awesome asset pack that's eating up a bunch of space. I can push those off. And if you're working in a team, this is gonna help even more because now you can do it for your entire team. Your whole team doesn't need to have their own copies of all of the assets that they've grabbed. You can just store them all off in that one nice storage location without wasting space. So this is a huge thing for me, along with all of the other stuff, including the search and the editor. To be honest, the search and the editor for the search is probably the most exciting thing for me, but this package manager thing is probably the most useful right away. So if you were interested in any of these things or if there's something else in the build that I didn't cover yet, please drop a comment down below and just let me know. I'm sure that there are some awesome things in here that I've missed, I, there always are, and your comments help me find those things. So please drop a comment down below, let me know, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and share the video if you like this. And also, if you're into game dev, make sure that you check out Game Dev Guild. There'll be a link down below as well. We're doing that at the end of May. It's a big conference for game developers, specifically Unity developers. It's actually sponsored by Unity. We'll have a lot of really interesting talks from experts and your peers in the industry. So if you're interested in getting together and meeting a bunch of developers, check that out. But first, make sure that you go grab the Unity 2022 release that just came out. Give it a try and be ready to talk about it at the conference. All right, see you later and thanks again. Don't forget to like, subscribe and, and all that stuff. Bye.